Okay, I've been wanting to keep quiet about this as much as possible just because I don't like getting involved in all this crap, but this is getting utterly ridiculous. This is devolving into defamation of character for someone. Um, what it basically boils down to is Shane Carwin has a fight coming up. He had to step into a fight um, that Brock Lesnar had to pull out of because he got sick again. Which, um, not really too surprising. Uh, frankly, the guy, you know, he had a serious illness and that will weaken your immune system and you can either, um, uh, get it back or you can, um, get, catch something else fairly easy. So I'm not too terribly surprised by that. Um, hoping it gets better soon, but here's the problem. Um, see, Carwin's going in training now and all the little Junior Dos Santos fanboys are sitting there making a big deal out of some alleged steroid scandal. Now I know that they're going to sit there and throw a fit and harp on it and say it's not alleged, it's proven fit. No, it's not. And here's why. Um, the court case, okay, uh, that they're referring to, it's ridiculous. Um, okay. There was a doctor who wrote prescriptions for patients for steroids. Now, this is not uncommon. Medical steroids are used um, quite often, especially if you've undergone any sort of debilitating injury. My mother had to take medical steroids after she had a stroke. Um, so, and he had chronic back problems after he injured his back, so it's really not surprising. Um, however, apparently there were steroids that were only cleared for use for um, cattle. Long story. But anyways, here's the deal, though. The guy stopped writing these prescriptions all the way back in, like, 2004 was the last one he wrote. I mean, that's eight years ago now, almost, you know? Seven, eight years ago. And, um, since then, um, you know, he hasn't been able to, uh, you know, there's been a court case. Um, he's alleging that he didn't know that's what it was and that they were shipping out the wrong stuff. It's a whole ugly legal, but the thing is, uh, Shane Carlin has actually not been implicated in anything whatsoever. Um, the guy, uh, there's actually not even proof that he, uh, took in his, his, uh, prescription and took the pills, and even if he did, they would have been out of his system, uh, from the date they were written long before he ever got into fighting. So, it's frankly ridiculous that people keep dragging this up and dragging this up, but what's even more ridiculous about this is the fact that they're actually suggesting that everything the guy has gone through lately including having to pull out of a fight see that's what they're saying why do you think he was out of the fights for so long it's because they had to get him clean no the dude had a fight he had to pull out of it because he had a consult he consulted his back surgeon and he told him that there was an operation they performed that could potentially fix his back of course if it messed up he could be even more screwed up so it was risky but it was something he was willing to take because, um, I mean, he had severe back pain. He didn't even have all the feeling in his right arm. All that good stuff. So now, you know, he took the back surgery. He recovered. His back's better than ever. No pain. He's got full feeling back in his arm. And all that. They're actually going so far as to suggest that this is some sort of blatant propaganda. That the surgery was faked. His recovery was faked. And that the video series that they're putting out is just a cover-up for the fact that he just got off steroids. Now, see, here's the problem with that. The guy was talking about this surgery for a long time. The guy pulled out of a comeback fight for it. Um, a fight that he had been waiting quite a while to get. Uh, the, he uh, tweeted pics for crying out loud of it. You know, he's been talking about this for quite a while. This is a pretty dang elaborate setup that apparently the hospital is in on if all he's doing is, uh, you know, trying to get off steroids. But, I mean, th th there's medical proof and everything that the guy went through it. And yet, somehow, this is all just propaganda for him getting off the roids, yada yada, etc, etc. Now, I really normally wouldn't care... I mean, they, people can be stupid and say what they want, but, I mean, this is trash talk. Um, this is beyond trash talk. This is defamation of character. This is stating that someone's guilty of something and was taking them as recently as, oh, gee, I don't know, two, four months ago. Just because, well, frankly, they don't want them to win, I guess. But, um, 
I mean, seriously, the guy isn't even taking this crap. The guy just went underwent a very risky back surgery that could have ended his career if anything went wrong. And, I mean, there's proof of this, and they're calling it all a lie and saying that he was just using... This is getting ridiculous. Not to mention the fact that the case that they always point to doesn't even have him as a defendant. It, it's all about the doctor. He didn't walk up to his doctor and say, hey, doc, give me roids. No. No, no, no. And it's getting ridiculous. It really is. Oh, God. And, I mean, see, normally I wouldn't give a crap. Normally I wouldn't. Normally I, I really wouldn't, you know? I, I chalk it up to trash talk and stupid people. But this is getting ridiculous when you even call a frickin' surgery a lie and a cover-up. That's getting desperate and stupid, and this is really defaming someone's character. So, uh, really all I have to say about that, I'm just frustrated that people could intentionally be so stupid and so frankly disgusting over a sport because and here's why it, it's um self-fulfilled prophecy this way if dos santos loses they could say see he's on roids it's the only reason he beat him or if he or if carmen loses they could say see he's off the roids that's why he lost. see you know what i mean basically this is their little loophole it's their excuse for whether he wins or loses that can point to this it's utter stupidity is what it is. Uh, God. That being said, it looks like an interesting fight, one that I really want to see, and uh, good luck to both of them, but seriously, people, grow up and, you know, grow a brain. That, that'd be really nice.